students and welcome to my channel Michelle Gay Science Teacher where it's all about science and STEM. Today we are looking at the catapult. The catapult has been used for centuries. It is a simple machine that it was used to launch projectile at a long distance like we use the cotton ball which would have been our projectile. We're going to look at two types of energy and you're going to have a STEM challenge to make your own catapult to see how far you can launch an object. So when we have the catapult, notice that here I have the cotton ball on the spoon and then we have our spoon connected to the craft stick using rubber bands. When it's sitting still, we have potential energy, energy that is stored. When we get ready to pull back so that we can launch, and when I release, we have kinetic energy, energy in motion. So, not only do we have kinetic and potential energy at work when we're using our catapult, but we also have thrust. When I pull back on my catapult, I'm going to thrust and launch the cotton ball in the air. Now, you will have to determine how to get your cotton ball at a farther distance once you make the simple prototype. I will give you one tip. Your angle will make a difference. And so if you see my angle now, you see that the angle is pretty small. But if I push it, my angle becomes wider. You will have to decide which way is going to make your cotton ball launch the farthest. All right, let's get ready to make a catapult so you will know how to make one and make your own. The materials you're going to need are just some craft sticks, seven craft sticks. You're gonna need a cotton ball or something light that you can launch. You'll need a spoon, and three rubber bands. Another thing you can do when you get ready to make your changes on your prototype, you can change your rubber bands to see if that makes a difference, or you can change the size of your craft sticks to see if that makes a difference. You're going to take your craft sticks and you're going to stack them. We're going to stack six. Then we're going to take a rubber band and put the rubber band at the end to tighten those together. Now you want to just separate and slide your next craft stick in between. That's where we're going to help with the tension. So when we're pulling down on it, take your next rubber band and put around this end of your craft sticks. Remember, you can decide how tight or how loose you want your rubber band. Next, we're going to take the spoon. Take your spoon and put it at the end and take your rubber band where the spoon and craft stick is together and put it on. Now you have your catapult. Now all you have to do is slide your stick, your craft stick that's in between those, bend back and launch. Let's see how this one works in comparison to this one. Let's test our catapults and see which one will go the farthest. 
This is the one we just made. This is the one I made earlier. And then we'll test it against the one with the wider craft sticks. All right, let's launch the first one. It passed the end of my table. Launch number two. It landed on the table. So this one with the fathers and notice the angles on the two. Does that make a difference? Let's test the third one. It landed at the end of the table also. Look at the angles again. What do we need to do in order to get our catapult to go uh, to launch our cotton ball farther? Does it matter if we use wide craft sticks or small craft sticks? Does it matter if we use, we put the rubber bands on tight or loose? These are some questions you will answer when you test out your catapult. And remember, when you're testing, Remember that energy is in play, kinetic and potential energy. Remember, potential energy is energy that is stored when it's sitting at rest, and kinetic energy is energy in motion when it's released. All right, friends, I want you to complete this STEM challenge and have fun and compete against each other to see who can launch their cotton ball or another object that's light the father is. And when you do, leave me a comment below and let me know how much fun you had. All right, friends, I am so glad you joined me today on my channel and I look forward to seeing you next time on Michelle Gay Science Teacher.